ஹாய் ஹால் நமஸ்கார் சஸ்ரியக்கால் வணக்கம் மை நேம் இஸ் அனில் நாயர் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் நாட் ஃபர்வாட் அட் மீ நத்திங் இஸ் ஆஸ் பவர்ஃபுல் தன் அன் ஐடியா விச் ஹஸ் கம் அக்கார்டிங் டு மீ தி சென்டென்ஸ் இஸ் மீனிங்ஃபுல் ஓன்லி வென் யூ எக்ஸிக்யூட் யுவர் ஐடியா ஃப்ரம் வாட் ஸ்டார்ட் இட் ஹஸ் எ வெரி ஆர்டினரி ஐடியா டு ஷேர் அவர் ஹார்ட் அண்ட் நாலேஜ் டு ஷேர் அவர் ஷார்ட் கட் டெக்னிக்ஸ் வயா யூடியூப் சேனல் we have reached a level where our youtube channel has crossed 10000 plus subscribers viewership from 127 countries 3500 cities and four continents i thank every viewer to make it is possible probably one of the fastest growing educational youtube channel in india thanks from the bottom of my heart but having said that still i am not happy in this growth because i would like to see a world where every student will get access to great educational systems great teachers so in this context i would like to introduce one of our star faculties that is mr ajay to share his shortcut techniques so that every student who is watching the video or who is aspiring for any competitive examinations can maximize their score by executing his concepts Let us all welcome Mr. Raj. Hi all, my name is Ajay Kumar. Although I am sure that most of the students will be knowing some of the basic Pythagorean triplets, in this video, today I will be explaining how to generate a series of Pythagorean triplets. You all already know that Pythagorean triplet is applied only for right angle triangles. So let me take a right angle triangle initially. So let me take a right angle triangle ABC, which is 90 degree at angle B. So that means the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle is A. So let me choose a side which is not equal to hypotenuse. That is, I will choose a side which is either AB or BC. So the side AB or BC will be a number. because it is the length of a triangle since it is a number it can be either an even number or it can be an odd number so let me select a side which is not equal to hypotenuse and let me select the side as an odd number first so the lowest odd number in the natural number series is 1 but let me take a side which is not equal to 1 so the lowest number becomes 3 so i have chosen a number called as 3 which is an odd number so my first number in the pythagorean triplet is 3 i will square that 3 i will get 9 i will divide that 9 by 2 which results in 4.5 with the result what i got as 4.5 i will subtract 0.5 i will get 4 that is my second number in the pythagorean triplet so i have two numbers called as 3 and 4 in the pythagorean triplet similarly with the same result what i got as 4.5 i will add 0.5 to the result so 4.5 plus 0.5 will become 5 so that is my third number in the pythagorean triplet therefore a series of pythagorean triplet is formed as 3 4 5 where 3 is the number which i took initially and 4 is a number which i calculated after squaring 3 and dividing it by 2 and subtracting by 0.5 and 5 is a number which i calculated after squaring the 3 dividing by 2 and adding 0.5 to the given number so let me take a different odd number for example in the triplet 5 square and divide it by 25 by 2 is 12.5 i will add 0.5 i will subtract 0.5 but let me subtract 0.5 from 12.5 12.5 minus 0.5 is 1 similarly 12.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 is 13 so my pythagorean triplet is 5 12 and 13 if you take a different example as an odd number 7 7 square is 49 49 by 2 is 24.5 minus 0.5 24 plus 0.5 25 So 7, 24, 25 will form a Pythagorean triplet. Similarly, 9, 40, 41 will form a Pythagorean triplet. 
11, 60, 61 will form a Pythagorean derivative. So these are some of the cases where the first number in the triplet, what I have chosen, is an odd number. So let me explain you what if the first number in the triplet is an even number. So let me take some even number which is not equal to 2. So let me choose it as 6 which is an even number. So 6 is my triplet. 6 is a number which I have chosen as triplet. I will square the number 6 and I will divide by 4 in this case. In case of odd number, I divided it by 2. In case of even number, I have divided it by 4. So 6 square by 4, 36 by 4 resulted in 9. So I will subtract 1 from 9 to get my second number in the triplet, which is 8. I will add 1 to 9 to get the third number in the triplet, which is 10. So my triplet is 6, 8, 10. Similarly, let me take a different example which is an even number. For example, I will take 8. 8 square by 4. 8 square by 4 is 64 by 4. 64 by 4 is 16. I will subtract 1 from 16 to get 15. I will add 1 to 16 to get 17. So 8 comma 15 comma 17 resulted in a one more Pythagorean triplet. Like this, you can keep generating a series of Pythagorean triplets as as much as possible. If a Pytha, if a number is an odd number, you should take square it, divide by 2, 0.5 subtraction, 0.5 addition to get a triplet. If a number is an even number, you should square it, divide it by 4, 1 subtract, 1 addition to get a triplet. So like this way, you can generate as many series as possible with respect to Pythagorean triplet. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Keep watching more and more videos at Anilayan Kathak YouTube channel. Thank you.